All right, so Melanie's up first. Uh, says, hey guys, can you explain, excuse me, let me open this up a little bit more. Can you please explain how RSS is installed? Uh, I understand the idea behind what it is supposed to do, but can't seem to find on anything how to set it up. Melanie, um, RSS, well, if you're like, if you've got your own like HTML site or something like that, then you'd have to like code it yourself or, or you have a developer do that. But most like, for example, WordPress, it's got RSS installed automatically. It's not something you have to turn on. It's just there. And so you would go to whatever, if you have WordPress, I'm just assuming you do. And, and again, most CMSs have RSS automatically installed by default, right? And so it's just, you got to just figure out what the feed URL is. And typically it's going to be domain.com, whatever your domain is, right? Dot com, whatever. Um, so in this example, domain.com forward slash feed, F E E D, or forward slash RSS, or sometimes it's uh, Adam, A T M, A T O M, depending on the platform, what type of CMS it is. But for WordPress, it's just feed, forward slash yeah, feed. I just posted an example of, of the Samantha Mastery feed. Okay. The one with the plugin or no? With our plugin? No, no, with, with, without. Okay. There you go. So that's all you got to do, Melanie. If you've got, like I said, something that's custom um, or HTML, you'd have to have a developer create that for you. It's not something I'd be able to uh, um, educate you on because I don't know how to do it. I, I'm not a coder. 